Hi, I'm Rex Semrod, the Dean of Students here at Covenant Baptist Theological Seminary. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the best way to go through your studies at CBTS. Distance education is an incredible blessing that we have that no generation before us has had. You can actually stay in the church where God placed you, be mentored by your own pastor, and still receive a thorough theological education. But distance education also has its difficulties. I, I know because I've attended multiple online seminaries, including this one, and I've learned a lot of these lessons through the School of Hard Knocks. So I've got seven admonitions for you that I believe will help you keep on track and make the most of your time here at CBTS. The first admonition I have for you is to keep biblical priorities. You need to be absolutely determined to keep your priorities straight. Your wife, your children, your vocation, and your duties to your church all need to take priority over your seminary training. These are all things that take precedence. And there will be times where those portions of your life prevent you from spending as much time in your studies as you'd like. The important thing is get back on track as you can, but refuse to neglect your family, your vocation, or your church for the sake of your seminary studies. The second admonition is to make a schedule. You cannot just let life happen or you will move really, really slowly. Too many things can creep in and get in the way. You need to set a schedule. Figure out what times in each week you can set aside and say, this is my seminary study time and I will only let legitimate things get in its way. Set that schedule and stick to it. Block off that time and keep it there. Third, clarify your goal. Why are you taking seminary classes? Why are you, are you enrolled in CBTS? It should be to glorify our risen Lord by gaining the theological training you need to become a faithful shepherd of Christ's dear sheep or someone who helps those who are shepherds of Christ's dear sheep. Your number one priority, the reason, the goal, the purpose that you are here is to glorify our risen Lord Jesus Christ. Seminary is really hard work, and there will be, I promise you, times where your flesh will say, why am I doing this? Do I really need to go study now? You need to convince yourself that you really do and tell that little voice in your head to shut up and quit being lazy. Fourth, you need to focus on personal piety and devotion. Now, no doubt, your studies in your classes will be very edifying, but do not consider them a substitute for personal devotional time in the Word of God and in prayer. You're going to have the same temptation when you become a minister of the gospel and you spend all your time preparing sermons. Don't let that take the place of your personal devotional life. You need to keep a personal devotional life. You need to spend time with God every day in prayer and in your Bible for the goal of communion with God, not simply to further your studies. Fifthly, set a time goal. How long do you want it to take for you to complete your studies? The math is pretty simple. If you're in the MDiv program, if you do 10 credits a year, it's going to take you 10 years to complete it. In the Master of Arts in Theological Studies, it would take four and a half years at 10 credits a year, and for the MAPS, three and a half years. So especially if you're an MDiv or a BDiv student, 
you need to set a, set a goal of at least 12 credit hours a year if you want to finish in a timely manner. Now, there may be times you can't do that, but set that goal and stick to it as best you can. Sixthly, ask questions. Take as many live classes as you are able and ask questions in the Q&A time. The, the classes are as thorough as they can be, but I guarantee you, you will have questions in your mind. Don't keep them to yourself. Ask the instructor. If you can't take live classes, almost all of our classes give you the instructor's email address and many of them even his phone number. Contact your professors and ask them questions. They love to answer those questions. And for the minority of classes that you can't do that, please contact me and I can possibly contact the professor or at least contact a professor can help you find your answers. And then seventhly, interact with fellow students. This is one of the things that if you don't take care to work at, you will miss out. When, when you're in a typical seminary, you're forced into the classroom together, you get to know your other students. If you just, it's you and your computer, you're really going to miss out. You should attend as many modular courses as you can and get to know the fellow students. You will gain fellowship and encouragement and camaraderie that will last far longer, in far even beyond your time here at CBTS. Um, participate in our student forums. Uh, join our CBTS Facebook group. Get to know your fellow students. Get to know each other. Pray for each other. Help each other. So, of these seven admonitions, the first three I want you to keep in the forefront of your mind at all times. Keep your priorities biblically. Do not let your studies come before those things that are more important. Set a schedule and stick to it as well as you can. And remind yourself why you're here. You're seeking to glorify our risen Lord. Enjoy your studies here at CBTS.